Hey guys, I am here to share something so special with you all because, okay, I just washed my hair and I am going to blow it out so that I can put it in twists. And what in the world is happening here? <laughs> Normally, you guys know I am a Rev Air girl. And I realize that not everybody wants to purchase the Rev Air because of the price tag on it. So I am pleased to present to you something that is very similar to the Dyson. It is a dupe of the Dyson, even though they don't call it that, but that's essentially what it is. And let me show it to you. This is the Fentgo high speed hair dryer and I've already unboxed it, but you know, I like reboxed it so I could unbox it for you. And this is what it looks like. And you'll see why I say it is essentially a dupe of the Dyson. This is it right here. It's nice and lightweight, not too heavy. It has a digital screen, which I will show you shortly. It comes with a diffuser for when, you know, we wanna do our washing goals and our curls. And it comes with a concentrator nozzle. This is what I will be using to blow my hair out because I just want, you know, I want it to be not totally straight, but from what I understand, it can get pretty straight using this hair dryer. Now it has this lovely Velcro tab here. And what makes this device really pretty unique is everything is connected by magnets, by, by magnets. So this is the concentrator nozzle and literally it's, it's a magnet that holds it on. It's, and it's pretty strong. So you see how it took me a bit to pull it off. Same thing with the diffuser, it's connected by a magnet. So I'm going to connect this and plug it in. As I'm drying my hair, I'm going to show you like the back section to start, but I want you to see how quiet this is, like compared to hair dryers in general. So you have an, an off button and you have a high and a low, and this button here controls the speed, the temperature. So once I plug it, turn it on, I'm going to put it on low first. That's pretty quiet. This is high. As you can see from what I've showed you, it has three um, heat settings, the pretty cool and then the medium and then the warm. And if you notice, it did not go over 200 and I believe it was five degrees. I don't remember what it was, but you, you saw that. It, so it's not going to burn your hair. I would still recommend using heat protectant just because I feel like whenever you use any kind of heat to your hair other than deep conditioning, you should use heat protectant of some sort. But those little particles that you saw, let me just show you one more time. Those little particles that you saw is showing you that the ionic process is working. This has ionic technology, which means that it is going to dry your hair quickly without damage. So let me show you how this thing works. Let me get my heat protectant first though. So I'm using my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Flat Iron Heat Protection. Even though it's I'm not using a flat iron, I still like this because it is kind of like a nice oil to it. So taking down this one section of hair, let me take these glasses off. Why, Jesus, why? I'm going to section just the back section right here and demonstrate how this dryer works for you know works it is my goal to try and finger detangle and keep my brush my detangling brush at bay for a while i might like detangle my hair with a detangling brush whenever like if it's like extremely tangled but my hair is not super super tangled and that's a good thing and that's because i had my hair in twist and then i wore a twist out for a couple of days okay so my hair is freshly washed and this, um, I got a little tangle. I let my hair air dry a lot of the way. It's really like damp. Focus on my ends. And see. 
okay i got a really nice uh blowout section here now i'm not going to make the rest of my hair this blown out because i'm doing twists and i don't want my hair to be super super straight so i just wanted to show you what this is like and I will be back to show you what my entire head looks like blown out before I twist it. But I want to introduce this to you because I know, I know, I know, I know that you guys want a quality hair dryer that is affordable and gets the job done as well. Definitely pick this up. I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below. But I'm going to finish drying my hair and then I'll be back and show you my final results. Y'all, I just changed my mind. I just realized I wanted to say something else about this dryer. First off, I, as you saw me drying in the back there, I was using it on medium heat. I don't think I mentioned like what heat, I'm sorry. I was using it on high heat. I didn't mention what heat I was on. When you turn the dryer off, whatever heat setting you were at, you know, before you turned it off, that's the heat setting that it will come on at. And you just, you know, you just adjust it to where you want. Because I was just trying to show you how that bottom section could get you know, pretty stretched out, pretty blown out well. I put it on the highest heat. However, now I'm just working with medium heat and I wanna show you a section in the front. I realized the back section, my back section of hair, this is a looser texture. So I don't want my results to seem skewed, you know, since I used it on hair that was already of a looser curl. Now the front, especially where my grays are, is a bit more wiry and it's a bit tighter curl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out with the heat and show you what that looks like doing that. So I've finger detangled and that's pretty good. So I'm gonna apply the heat protectant. Also, because I'm not using a comb or a brush, I'm using the tension blow dry method, which is simply adding tension to the hair while you run the heat, protecting your ends. I don't hit the ends until the very end so that, you know, it's less heat. I'm using medium heat, but I'm gonna use a high wind setting. They're not straight, obviously, like if I had flat ironed them, but look, this is a really decent like blowout. Now I'm gonna go finish my head, but I wanted to show you what it looked like in the front versus the back where the hair is looser. The front of the hair is a little bit tighter. And so I'm gonna finish this off and I will be back for real this time. Okay, so we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So you see how down here is a little bit more stretched out than the rest, but that's because again, I am doing twists and I didn't want it to be like too, too straight. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the results in terms of, you know, I got a little texture, but it's good. But yeah, and then what I'm really pleased about is like how smooth the grays got, you know, considering like, I mean, you know, if I straightened it with a flat iron, that'd be different, but this is actually pretty stretched. And, you know, I hate that my grays can look really, really wiry. So this dryer does a really good job of getting in there with the concentrator nozzle, you know, straightening it all out. One thing I forgot to show you all though, is how this has, remember I said everything's magnetic. Even this, this is the filter where you wanna clean it every so often. You just, it's that's magnetic also. And this is the filter here. You don't ever wanna use, you know, the dryer without the filter on you always want to like wipe it off make sure it's not dusty but then you just clip it back on and and there we have it this is a really nifty little device and i'm definitely going to use it for you know when i want to do um a quick quick because it, it it was really fast like maybe 10 minutes sometimes you know when i do my hair let's say i even have twists in or i have um a style where my roots feel like they're starting to revert i feel like i can put this on and literally just get in the roots like that and straighten my roots out and so that's a really good thing so again i'm going to leave this down below i think by the time you watch this video i'm going to have a coupon code for it so 
Yeah, you can get it on Amazon, but I'm gonna give you a coupon code to purchase the device should you be interested, okay? Now I'm going to go and twist up my hair. Let me see if I forgot anything. That's pretty much it, guys. I will catch you in my next video. God bless you.